Clara, I'm on my way to Valle de Oro. Good. I hope you find Maximus Matanzas. How do you know them anyway? Talia and I led the first protests against Castillo, while Paolo mobilized the dissidents. We lost contact after the Esperanza riots. I saw those riots. A lot of people got hurt. Maybe they left a note. They wanted others to follow. Clara, Maximas Matanzas was definitely at the fort. There's signs of a gunfight and shit thrown everywhere. That sounds like them. Can you pick up their trail? See, si. they won't be hard to track. That's what I'm worried about. Rápido, Dani. That music must be Maximas Matanzas. Cojone, Pinga. Hope I'm not too late. Pinga. Hope I'm not too late. Clara, I think I found Maximas Matanzas' hiding spot. But Castillo's soldiers got here first. Looks like they're having some fun before they call for backup. You know what to do, Danny. Whatever it takes. Better watch myself. That's the last of them. Hi. Thanks, Way. But get Talia down before she really pissed get off. Me down from here. Okay, okay. I'm coming. What carajo? Ah, ping! <clears throat> you must be Talia. Move. What the fuck? <sighs> hey, uh, you think I can keep this? No, yes. Hey, man, you just saved Maximus Matanzas, the most blessed motherfucking group in Yara. Well, I would have done it myself personally, but you know, I couldn't stop crying. Get out of my way. I'm Bicho, man. I'm from Mexico. Get me the fuck out of here. I know you can hear me. If I let you out, you're gonna behave? Mi amor. Fuck you, Talia. Oh, I thought you wanted to hide like a pussy-ass bitch. You want to die before we get to America? Oh, 
Big man, Paolo. So a real man takes care of his chica by hiding her in a stank ass swamp. Fucking puta. <laughs> Coño. Oh, oh. That's just foreplay. Okay, okay. You guys ever heard of Libertad? Clara Garcia sent me. Shh. We were Libertad before Libertad. Who do you think dragged Clara to her first protest when she wanted to live in a fucking library? I don't care. Clara knows her boring ass speeches won't convince Yarns to join Libertad. She needs her voice. Don't worry, Talia's full of shit and so are you. Welcome to Camp Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> They're animals. Everybody! Soldados are gone! Come on out! Paolo's busy again, isn't he? He sent you to help me? through a lot. We can't beat Castillo without Talia's voice and Paolo's discipline. You just need to help them find it. Okay, Clara. I'm gonna trust you know what the hell you're getting me into. You know the craziest thing? What? They kept playing. Talia never missed a fucking word. All these screams and the running and the fire. What a cutie! You're still full of shit. A lot more people here than I thought. Are the musicians too? Talia collects dreamers dumb enough to pick fights with Anton's Ministry of Culture. I just make sure they aim the barrel away from the face. Thought I was the only dropout. Papa was a drill instructor. Family's fifth gen army until me. What happened? Expelled. When Papa found out I turned from his favorite daughter into a freak. His words. Shit. Just trans in the military, compai. I was lucky. Talia caught me trying to steal her gear, but instead of turning me in, she gave me a deck. Libertad can help all of you here. Libertad? When Castillo won, we left riots with Clara. And what did he get us? Clara runs off to play guerrilla, Talia gets thrown into Maria Marquesa's bullshit academy, and I have to take a big fucking debt to get her out. From who? Bembe, black market smuggler. Once he's paid off, Talia and I are off this fucking rock. Let me take some debt, Paolo. I don't do handouts. Okay. Why'd you leave the military? Punch my drill instructor in the throat. I'm not a morning person. Segunda. Bembe deals in the church. So now you want to talk to me? No, I want to see you. Meet me at the zoo Balabasidora, the ride that whips you around. Look, if this is some kind of fucked up date... Just get that ass over here, and don't tell Paolo. You drag me back to that fucking swamp. 
Big gun. Checkpoint. Better be careful. Clara, I need to help Paolo pay off a debt to some black market smuggler named Bembe. Do whatever it takes, Danny. If Paolo was able to build that camp on the run, imagine what he could do for Libertad when he decides to fight. Understood, Clara. You Bembe? I know a silly when I see one. What's wrong with Ola, asshole? Try to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I sell your organs to the Yankees. And I know if I shoot you, Paolo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda, you got me. 
So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. After the revolution, he put on a crisp military uniform. Three years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolution with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull. Buried in the same crisp uniform. Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? It goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking Bambe. Lorizo, come here! Okay, Rojas. I need you to pick up my key from my business partners. Where are they? At the hotel. My associates are named Dimitri and Vasily. They're Russian and they're twins. I'll make it easy and send a picture. You're too kind. They say kindness is the lowest form of manipulation. This is a simple job, Rojas. Get me my key and Paolo will thank you. I don't want Paolo's thanks. I want Paolo's debt cleared. We all do, Rojas. Me most of all. Right. I'll get you this key. But then you and Paolo are square. Understand? Love you, Ross. Bye bye. Tripwire. Okay, careful, Danny. No, I'm good. Hola, Rojas. I thought you should know that there might be some soldiers at the hotel. Might be? Hey, I'm just trying to help you. You don't help people, Bembe. You use them. I'll take that as a thank you. I see a Russian, but is it Dimitri or Vasily? Who are you working with? Medic. I told you already, nobody. Just me and my brother Vasily. We run everything. Bullshit! Okay, so bullshit to you then. Do you want to join your brother for a swim? We are Russians. Pain and death, they do not scare us. This is part of life and life... <laughs>
te voy. Who are you? Are you Dimitri or Vasily? Dimitri, who the fuck are you? Bembe sent me. Where's the key? <laughs> so that's what this is about. Bembe fucked us good. First he sends military, then he sends you. I don't work for Bembe. I'm just here for the key. My brother has the key. The soldiers drowned him like a dog, but he didn't once beg for his life. He died in that fancy pool like a man. My Vasily. Gracias. I'm sorry about your brother. I'm getting out of Yara. You should too before Bembe stabs you in the back. Idiota Kusok! I never should have come to this godforsaken country! Bembe, you fucking hijo de puta. Ah, so you got my key. See, I found it on your dead Russian friend. Now, Rogers, the key opens a safe at Via Julia Hotel. I need a black book inside. What's in that book? For you? Paulus Freedom. Looks like the hotel, and what a surprise. The army is here. Bembe, I'm at the hotel, and so is the army. But I think you already knew that. It's the delicious little surprises that make life worth living. Save me your bullshit. Let me guess, you want me to take them out. <laughs> you see, this is why I like you, Rojas. Don't kill those soldiers for me. Do it for Paolo. Bang. If those animals got out, there would be real chaos. eyes on an engineer.
keep my distance. Bembe, it's done. I got your book. Muy bien, Rojas. I can see why Clara has so much faith in you. You are such a good little gopher. Is that what you think I am? Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything to you. Tell me where to meet you. I'm across the north bridge of the hotel. American weapons. Shit. Libertad could use those. Should check it out. Juan. Got a lead on a weapon shipment. American. Interested? Interested? Danny, I'm having a hands-free orgasm in this church. Call me when you find them. Gross. Uh, yeah, okay. Trabajo, Rojas. Thank you for securing my new port. Thought you wanted the book from the safe. Can't a man have both? Of course, Via Hudia Hotel is the real price jewel. It's the best smuggling port on the south coast. You just needed someone to clear out the competition. The Russians make good money from this place. And with this book of corrupt officials in their pay, that money will now flow to me. We are done here. But you and I still have business to do, Rojas. You've paid off some of Paolo's debt, but not all. Don't worry, I have more work for you. Good boy. ¿Qué tal, guerrilla? Let's make me some money. I got some customers who are dying to get out of paradise. You're going to help them do that. I've left you a truck. Use it to drive my customers to the docks, where our ship will be waiting. The docks are guarded, so you're going to work a little harder to get past them without a fight. That's where Rafael Merrero comes in. He's a forger and a very important client of mine. These papers will get you through. Do this for me. And Paolo's debt is wiped clean. Everyone wins. When the boat leaves, the boat leaves.
what do you want, Picho? Nothing. No, that's wrong. It's definitely something. I promise. Meet me back at the camp. I got an idea. Bye! Paolo, just spoke to our mutual friend, Bembe. What did that snake have to say? He says I do this one last dirty job for him, and you walk away clean. I'm not proud, but I do it again to get Talia and me out of Yara. Danny, I know the risk you are taking for me. I won't forget this. Thank me if I get through this in one piece. Bembe, why is it everywhere you send me I find trouble? Speculation is a waste of time. In time is money. Take matters into your own hands, Rojas. And fast. Rafael is there somewhere. I'm good. Muchas gracias. Vamos. Gracias. Did Bembe send you? Sí. You, Rafael? I got papers for you. They're in the truck nearby with Bembe's customers. You better hurry. What about you? I'm going back to my studio. I have more art to create. Bembe, I got your clients. And your papers from Rafael. Okay, Ross. Now make sure my precious cargo gets to the port. Si. Sí. Okay. Everyone good back there? <laughs> Vámonos. Yeah, I'm in the truck. Boss waiting. Try not to damage the goods. Goods? I got a truck full of people here. No, Danny. That's a truck full of money. My money. Papers. Wait a minute, Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think El Presidente funded Maria's new face? Okay, go through. Bembe better be here. Beautiful work, Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, momento, amigos. This isn't your stop. Que coño, they're not going? Business expense. What the fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. 
Vaya con Dios. Paolo, good news. Bembe is off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Dahlia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Dahlia and I are still getting off this island. Paolo's busy again. Isn't he? He sent you to help me? without Talia's voice and Paolo's discipline. You just need to help them find it. Okay, Clara. I'm gonna trust you know what the hell you're getting me into. Segunda better get ready. Gonna bake that shit up. You're hit. So you know, I'm a badass radio DJ. Okay, that's a lie. But you inspired me, Danny, with your guerrilla-ness. I dream of my sexy voice, Maximus Matanza's music, and Libertar's message all over the airwaves. I call it Radio Libertar. I dream of you spraying a logo all over Maria Marquesa's shitty propaganda. Here's spray paint and some bombs I made to make handing out flyers go way faster, okay? Counter propaganda right into the machine. <laughs> I got chills. You feel it? Down there? No, it's just me. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yes! Oh, I can't wait to tell you and Paulo see this shit. Who told you that? This place is looking better, no? That's all new. Hey, bicho, I'm at Segunda. 
Oy, about fucking time. You're slower than my shits after I ate too many platanos. I swear to God, Bicho. What you waiting for? Spray the posters, plant the bombs, get the fucking word out. Radio Libertad is waiting to be born. Correle, chop chop. Ooh, looks good. I might have a career here. Perfecto. Bicho, going pretty good so far. Nice logo. Gracias. Just keep those edges clean, okay? I got it, Bicho. Like, keep your wrist loose, okay? Smooth strokes. I got it. Oh, honey. Love you. Good spot for Beatrice's flyer bombs. Just throwing out some trash. Nothing to see here. Bombs away. Hmm. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I'm good. One more. Check that one out. Bicho, I'm done. No, 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 man. You're not done. Are you ready for the next step? I'm ready. Okay, so Maria's on her way. There's a banner she's gonna unveil on live TV. And you are gonna swap it out for our banner instead. Oh, I am. <laughs> am I? It's high up, but you can get there, right? You, you think Clara's gonna like it? Yeah, go team! I'm into it. Go team. I can now add vandalism to my list of capital offenses. <laughs> More like the list of shit that makes you a fucking badass! Come meet me at the gas station outside town. Kurele! Mira! It's starting! And now for a special announcement. Hello, my beautiful foreign friends. Any questions before we begin? Minister Marquesa, are you concerned that- How do you respond to rumors that Diego Castillo is your son? I don't. Diego Castillo is the first son of Yara and an example to all true Yarens. Now, it is my pleasure to unveil the construction of the Anton Castillo True Yaren Cultural Center. You see? This is the kind of cultural pollution we are fighting against. Ah, 
<laughs> uh, we just need to borrow your phones and your cameras. <laughs> Everyone in Yara saw that shit! Oh my god, Danny! We have so much to do! I'm blowing my own fucking mind! The dream is coming alive! Radio Libertad, baby! Que? You're on the air? No, but we are so close I can taste it! Come to my ranch! Why? Because I'm there! Isn't that reason enough? Need some wheels. No one walks in Yara. Here you go. What? Open, boy. No. What am I supposed to do? Teleport or something? Conyo, sensitive, aren't you? Only to shit that annoys me. Call you when I'm there. Okay, a dog? How did you get in here, boy? Found the weapons and a dog. A dog too? Hmm. Dogs are useful in war. Long history there. Sergeant Stoby, Chips, Nemo. Does it have a name? No, not yet. What the fuck, Danny? It has no identity. Give it a name. Okay, how about uh, Boom Boom? Good. Train it to go straight for the cojones. I like my dogs like I like my wars. Violent, unpredictable, and with a lot of humping. Something tells me Boom Boom's got some fight in him already. Smart dog. What did you find for me? Good 
good dog. Now, what do we have here? Dahlia, I'm at the zoo. Good. I'm up on the body door, that big spinning ride. Okay, I'll find you. Shit they're doing here. Castillo's repeating history. My history. Yara was built by slaves, and now so is Viviro. El Presidente is Afro Yaren and doesn't even realize the fucking irony. He has innocent people down there. People from our show. We did one in Esperanza. Cause they riot. Castillo's minister of bullshit propaganda, Maria Marquesa, blacklisted us. Locked me up in her academy and tried to fry my brain. But I was lucky. Palo busted me out. Told me to move on, but I can't. Not with people locked up down there. In cages. Sleeping in their own shit like I was. I don't got skills to break people out. You do. Save them. I'll stay here. Be your lookout. Need to move fast or people are going to die. An alarm. That's not good. That camera needs to go. Better take out that camera. A special message from Presidente Castillo to Yara. Sniper. Hey, watch yourself. Time to free these people. Go back up now. Go while you can. No problem. Run! Get moving! Go while you can. Yara needs to see this. Run! Get moving! Go while you can! Dahlia! The people are safe! Good, but it's not enough. Yara needs to see what Castillo is doing. See why we can't sit silent. Security cameras are all over this place. Some footage could change a lot of minds. Fuck yes, Danny! Broadcasting footage! Bicho will know how to get that to as many people as we can. I'll look for the control room. Locked. Security keys. The 
footage must be in here. Okay, the footage. Danny, they're sending in reinforcements. Gonyo, the download isn't finished. Finally, done. Dahlia, it's clear down here, and I got the footage. Now I see why Clara likes you. Maria's not gonna be able to cover this shit up. Don't worry, we'll give Libertad some credit. Just do your thing, Dahlia. Okay, meet me at that shitty Anton statue by the front gates. This is worth it. You'll see. Trust, Danny. Trust. Yeah, where the fuck are you? Look, it's Anton's fucking zebra. That's a horse and some paint. See, but it'll make me famous. Take a pic. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Take the fucking picture! Keep it still! <laughs> One more time. I fucking dare you. I'm good with animals. Marquesa locked down the internet 
So we're taking over the radio to give Libertad a voice. But Yara's old ass network is cock blocking me. It's from like, what, 1993? The red antenna tower things around here shoot out the signals, but most of them are broken or point the wrong way. I tagged all the broken shit. Fix and rotate them. Por favor? For our dream? We're gonna give Yara the truth it needs! Did I ever tell you I love you, Danny? Smart dog. Hey. Come on. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Good dog. Now, what do we have here? That's my dog. What did you find for me? Okay, bicho. What repinga? Los soldados are in my way. Better watch my step. There's the officer. Antenna's powered up. Two more to go. Attack, boom, boom. Boom, boom, get back here. <laughs> Talk about resolver. <laughs> okay, Picho. What did you mark?
Bicho, I'm at the apartments. Oh, that place is resto ver to the max. They steal from the grid to live. But one of their control panels is fried. It's calling off power to one of my antennas. Get on that roof and find it, por favor. Follow my blue graffiti to the control room up there. It's locked. But that never stopped you before, right? Never, Picho. Fuck ya! Yeah. Radio Libertad is gonna light up Yara with truth! There's a break. Esperanza, get ready for Radio Libertad. One more tower, and Radio Libertad is born. Fine for me. I'm near the tower by Cafe Taza. Por qué? You sound stressed. My buddy knows this guy who sells calling cars on the corner. And he said Marquesa cut off this other dude's balls for doing a mural without Ministry of Culture approval. Getting cold feet? I will no. Marquesa can fuck off. But if she comes to me, Danny, protect my balls, okay? Okay. He just graffiti. Good dog. Ah, oh, what the pinga! Vicious bastards! Control should be at the top of the tower. That's my dog. That will boost the signal. Picho! Go time for Radio Libertad. Danny, try to broadcast. My guest is jamming my signals. Overriding me with Dick and Anton. Fucking 2G connection. Fry your jammers at Taino Peak Station. Fuck up the big dishes blocking signals. Fire your amplifiers on the tower and play your searchlights on that fucker like crazy. Danny? Danny? You there? Can you... There are lions. Pinga, that voice. Jammers have to go. Eh, better watch myself here. Pinga, <laughs> I love that dog. Good dog. Now, oh, what do we have here? Did you find for me? A 
I should fuck up the jammer on the dish first. Bingo. I love that dog. That's my dog. of that bullshit. <clears throat> Gotta get up the tower. Good dog. Now, what do we have here? That's my dog. Gotta flip the switch on the amplifier. What did you find for me? Cagons, madre! But it's gold, bicho. Hey, Daniel's gonna love it. Paulo's gonna lose his shit. Did you tell Clara yet? No, because I'm talking to you. <laughs> Enjoy the moment, bicho. <laughs> I have the power. Fuck Maria. I'm gonna ram Radio Libertad down Castillo's throat. Our music. Libertad's message. Free speech wins. Viva Libertad. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bicho. <laughs> Viva Libertad. Clara, good news, Maximas Matanzas is safe and they've actually got a decent camp here. Bad news, Hola. they don't give a Hola. shit about Libertad. Give it time, Danny. They've been through a lot. We can't beat Cast... Fucking Palos is finding a way off Yara is priority number one. <laughs> he wants to run while we got real problems. I heard our friend Matias is locked up in Marquesa's Drew Yarin Academy. He's a doctor. But they took his fucking license for helping us out. It's like it's a crime to help anyone who's not a true Yarin. And now they're going to fry his brain till he's dry humping Castillo. I would know. They tried that brainwashing shit on me. Palo won't risk saving Matias until the heat dies down, but you're up for it, right? Talia's Matias is a fucking Palo's saint. Discipline. You just need to help them find it. Okay, Clara. I'm gonna trust you know what the hell you're getting me into. boy. Oh, 
Now, what do we have here? Dahlia, I'm at the academy. Looks like the inmates took over. Oh, fuck yes! Should make this easy! No, listen to me. The army is here. There's going to be a fight. Then get in there and get Matias out before the army storms the place. That's what guerrillas are about and shit? There's an engineer. You're Matias? You don't look like a doctor. What, these scrubs don't scream physician to you? Talia sent me to break you out. Fantastic. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor! <laughs> Boom, boom! Flamethrower. I'm good. Matias, have your kit. Get back, fast. Soldados are at our door. Diria, huh. <sighs> where's that kit? On my way. The trauma kit. Gracias. I need to stabilize him, Danny. Keep the soldados off my back. Crossing out for the reinforcement. Nobody gets close. Nadie. Morning coming.
Diaz! You done? I need more time! Shit! We're pushing it here! What? You want to switch? You did good, um... Danny, from Libertad. You've done this before, no painkillers? Give me a hand. Only true Yarns get proper medical care. The rest get me. When he did Paolo's top surgery, there was no anesthetic. Black market hookup fell through. Even then, Paolo didn't blink. Shit. <laughs> Welcome to Castillo's paradise. Tell those lovebirds I'll help after I scrape up some antibiotics for a friend. You will live, thanks to you. Boom, boom, come. Talia, I got Matias out. Gracias. And Paolo will thank you when he finds out. Danny, you're one of the good ones. Plenty of good ones in Libertad, you know. I think you'd fit right in. Okay, slow down, Danny. If we break more chains, show Marquesa and Castillo that they can't keep us down, maybe I'll consider Libertad. Maybe. You here to pick up Paolo? The slack? We got a lot to do here. Just one fucking show, Paolo! We focus on the demo. Javier's cost enough free speech can get us an American deal. Ooh, an American record deal. A grand fucking salvation! What's going on? We got a show for the first time since we ran from Esperanza, and Paolo wants to kill it. Why? Marquesa will kill us. But I painted the loco everywhere. No, I painted them. And stole a fucking zebra and killed for that local priest. No bullshit, you're doing the show. What priest? One song. Then we're out. Ah, oh, mi amor, I could fuck your brains out, but we gotta get ready. Back your shit, baby! <laughs>
Danny, I, I love that you're just speaking your truth like that. What is it, Picho? We're gonna need to clear Marquesa's propaganda house of soldiers if we're gonna set up our gear. And by we, I mean you. Or you with a little bit of me. Both of us. I get it. Let's go speak some truth. Boom, boom. Over here. That's my dog. Easy. Clara better appreciate this. Bicho, I'm at Maria's villa. You here? Yeah, yeah, soon way. But, uh, are there soldados? Of course. It's Marquesa's fucking house. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I'm gonna be a little late. Relájate. There won't be a single soldier when you get here. Hmm, camera. Binga. <laughs> I love that dog. <laughs> what did you find for me? It's safe to come out now. What a lit Danny, meet me out front on my truck. And, uh... <clears throat> you need help? Uh, see, si, with gear. That shit's heavy. That's my dog. dog. Now what do we have here? You got this! Badass motherfucker! Let's launch this shit! Fast! Okay. Maria's got the best gear set up here already. We just need to turn that shit on. We? You think Talia will turn on the antenna, lights, speakers? No way, man. Okay, okay. I'll help. Shit, yeah! I got a roadie! And Radio Libertad's happening. I'll be here, monitoring your progress. Motherfucker. Binga. <laughs> I love that dog. Okay! Antenna is live! I'm a guerrilla roadie now. Good dog. Now, what do we have here? Damn, Marquesa's got a serious light board. Bicho! Gear is good to go!
Cojones. So lifelike. Where the hell are Pablo and Talia? <gasps> you look like shit. <laughs> this always happens. Uh, this always happens before a show. Hey. Finally. Verdad sobre todo. 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 Falla, porque en la calle se dice que viene batalla. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. Tú sabes que seguimos dando la talla. Hey, canalla, somos los yaranos, tú sabes que no se desmaya. Pasa la raya, y pero es un pueblo que arde metiendo la galla. Yo me tralla. Quiero que todos salgamos con puños arriba. Quiero que todos apoyen esta iniciativa. Este día, que no se definitiva, progresiva. Sigamos con la fuerza positiva. Es que tenemos las ganas del tamaño de un estadio. Por eso, seguimos tomando... Tío, fuck Marquesa, fuck Paraíso, rejodera la muerte. We don't stop, you hear me? Danny, protect the gear. Stones will try to kill a broadcast. If the equipment goes down, Radio Libertad goes down. Don't let that happen. Respuestas definitivas, progresivas, sigamos con la fuerza positiva. Es que tenemos las ganas del tamaño de un estadio. Por eso seguimos tomando la lucha al diario para todos. Los escucha de guerrilla radio. Seguimos destruyendo y sacando al adversario. Yo falla. Porque la gente se dice que viene batalla. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. Tú sabes que seguimos con batalla. Hey, canalla. Todo lo verano, tú sabes que no se desmaya. Pasa la raya. Y verás mucho lo que anda metiendo la calle. Yo me traigo. Con rapa plato, tu tiranía. Esta rebeldía es culpa y la convierto en poesía. Puños arriba, quiero que todos apoyen esta iniciativa. 
chinga será libre de tu mente de que lo que merecen es un en la frente yo solamente quiero mucho más para mi gente amor lo que necesitamos es amor no creo en maría marquesa menos en ese doctor por favor duele ver como el que entraba no sabía cómo moría ni justamente eso dolía la revolución hoy vale porque antes no valía resistencia me presento el espacio yo salía Show's over. What are you talking about, Paolo? You made your point to Marquesa. No tenemos miedo, miente la falla. So you got her thinking she's hard like Libertad now. Should I run to America like a pussy instead? Fuck, Talia, we can have a life there. Oh, yeah. Smile at the Yankees while we clean their toilets. Smile while they tell us to go back to where we came from. They don't want us, Paolo. My life is here, fighting with Libertad. Libertad? <laughs> Libertad just wants our fans. You think Clara Garcia gives a shit about you? Me, Danny? Take it easy. Oh, so now you're against Libertad. After all the shit we've been through, the surgeries, your family? My surgeries! My family! Not yours! This isn't my war! When this is over, I'm still gonna have to fight to live here! It's like you forget that I'm trans in fucking Yara! So don't talk as if you know what it's like for me! A real man doesn't run! Suerte! They'll be fine! He'll be fine. I don't think so, mi amigo. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Mm. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. And your mother? Que clase de tonteria es esta, Maria? Es el estilo americano. Let's talk Viviro. A cancer treatment that extends the lives of millions around the world, except in the United States. My own father is stage four. Why do you make Americans wait? It's very American to expect what does not belong to you. You refuse diplomatic overtures, even promises to lift the blockade. I am sorry about your father. But Americans will wait. Just like everyone else. Yesterday your network, Yarovision, was hijacked by rebels. They called for the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? Truth or lies? The truth, of course. Yara did not write the playbook. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who looked like me. What is that called? 
A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion-dollar prison industry that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. Children so are close. Sweatshops build our phones, and Bibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? Santos Espinoza executed your father in the 1967 communist revolution. You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You were self-educated? My mother was a wonderful teacher. I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor, pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, when I give my vibiro to America, my methods, your questions, no one will care. We're done here. For your father. I saw the broadcast go dark. What happened? Are you okay? Or alive? Oh, yeah, right Bien. Marquesa is going to make your lives a living hell now. Protect Maximus Matanzas, Danny. That broadcast has reached thousands. We're already getting new recruits. I'll try my best, Clara. I'll speak to Talia. See if I can help them work out their creative differences. I trust you, Danny. We got to light Maria's face on fire. Ugh, Palo's gone, but I still gotta scream. You and I, we're gonna take the war straight to Maria Marquesa. I've been waiting to do this a long time. First, her Ministry of Culture blacklisted us. Then they kidnapped me, tried to brainwash me, silence me. Well, we're going to censor la fucking censura, Danny. Her propaganda, billboards, advertising. Her whole rum factory! We're going to fuck it up. Bankrupt her. By the time we're through, Marquesa won't even have any ass left money left. Her fucking propaganda machine took our voice, so we got only one option left. Our bullets. Make that bitch pay. Keys are in the ignition. Don't wreck this one, okay? Gracias. Let's go, Boom Boom! You got a head start. <laughs> Coño. I'll be there when I can. Go easy, bicho. Smart dog. Oye, sending a pick of Marquesa's propaganda trucks. Sorry you have to look at her face. <laughs> Just another reason to take them out. 
Been sick of hearing her propaganda bullshit since Castillo took over. Fuck them up, Danny. What did you find for me? That's my thought. this, Marquesa. Smart dog. Good dog. Now, what do we have here? Starting to feel like an ex. Bingo. Maria's going to get the message now. Dalia! Wish you could see Marquesa's face on fire. Jealous. What about her room factory? You hit that yet? Going to take it out now. Smash it up, Danny. Maria's room factory. Time to make some noise. from me. What did you find for me? Hmm. Dale, boom boom, dale! Smart dog. Adios to shitty rum. Ah! <sighs> 
This feels good. Like therapy. That was for you, Talia. Maria's rum is out of business. I see me so. She's going to be shitting her diamond encrusted panties. Oh, there's an image. Let's think bigger, no? Los muy come mierdas are putting up another fucking Anton statue at El Presidente Square. I swear, it's the only way that guy can get hurt. <laughs> it's as good as gone, Talia. Checkpoint. dog. Now what do we have here? That ought to be expensive. No Dahlia, it's done. Good. It's going to cost that bitch millions to get all that back. I thought you'd be more happy. Look, millions can't bring back what I lost. But that's okay because we're just getting fucking started. Danny, there's a checkpoint that's fought off everything we've thrown at it. We need you to clear it, Danny.
It's like someone shot the Maximus Matanzas is fucking dead. Radio Libertad is dead. We were the mouth of the revolution. Mouth. Mouth. And you know what's even worse? This bottle is empty. How fucked up is that? You and me got a date with some cervezas. And then those cervezas friends and family and cousins, every fucking cerveza on this whole stupid island. I have a plan. There's some soldiers here, and they have booze, but they, they, they don't need it like, like, uh, like we do. <laughs> Liberate the cervezas, daddy. <laughs> Are you sad? I'm sad. Nice! What'd you get? Never mind, I don't care. Bicho, our future is now. You are a genius. Let's do this! Priorities way! Oh yeah, party time. <laughs> Come on, you little fucker. Let's dance. The fuck? Fuck you, everybody dances. If Bicho is gonna dance, he's gonna dance to his own fucking music. No, no me importa quien Hey, got the request? See, si. can you play this? It will really cheer up my friend. Dale! Yes! This is my shit! <laughs> That's better, bicho. Where are you, you little pineapple hair fuck? Don't leave me alone out here! Oh, shit. Phone. Danny? Hey, where are you, man? Ah, uh, Danny! Bicho, you come mierda, where'd you go? Danny, there's a really big dog here. 
<laughs> is, is that a cow? Where, where did you find a cow? Uh, he's really nice. He gives lots of kisses. Stay where you are. I'll come find you. <laughs> St stop it. Bad dog. <laughs> ¿Qué coño es eso? That's my dog. doggy. Oh shit. You came shit. back. You what came the back. Fuck? Hey. How do you become a guerrilla? Huh? Que? Like uh, for Libertal. Does Clara give you a test? Yeah, bicho. She makes you get up at like four in the morning and do push-ups. What? Yeah, a, a thousand. If you stop, her buddy Juan shaves your ass and spanks you. <laughs> and if you puke, they make you do math. <laughs> Me lleva la chingada fucking math? No way. No way, way. You're full of shit. You're lying. <laughs> Since when did you want to be a guerrilla? Never mind. Forget it. Danny! <laughs> I can't? I, I can't look at our old graffiti. It makes my heart feel like a bag of dog shit. We need to cover it up. Go, Danny. Paint my pain. Because that's what my dream is now. Radio Libertad is just a broken heart full of shit. There! Tag that shit. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get. Okay, that's every single one. Really? How how many did you do? Like uh, at least a hundred. Nice. Drink? Danny, I need to hear their voices. I need Maximus Matanza right now. I need everyone in this whole town to hear them. Then, Bicho, my little chalupa, I think it's time for some real guerrilla shit. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Shit, Picho! Let's make Segunda fucking Junior dance! dance. For Liberta! <laughs> I'm going to remodel Maria's office. Hang on! No! Radio Libertad's revenge! Oh, we are alive! <laughs> Then let's get out of here. <laughs> it's not fair, man. <laughs> You're right. It isn't. <coughs> what is it? You! I mean you! Look at you! Look at you! You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me, they think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. <laughs> That's not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this. That's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Libertad, I had two best friends, just like you. 
Lita used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza's school for the lost. After that, I was cadet 2683. Then, drafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. A nobody. But I wasn't listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. I am not a number. I am not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla. Just like you. I use this. And you use that. Huh? But I could be a cool fucking gun too. Let's see. Paolo's gone, Beecho's a crying mess, and Talia's just fucking chaos. I think it's time to face reality, Danny. Maximus Matanzas is too far gone. I'm going to head back to camp. Talk to Talia. Don't give up on them yet, Clara. You're called, Danny. Looks like a fighter. <laughs> 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 Don't go face to face. We hit Maria's rum factory. We fucked up her billboards, and the bitch didn't even bat a fake eyelash. Meanwhile, Maximus Matanzas is dead, and I'm still stuck in this swamp. We've spilled real blood, Danny, and Marquesa doesn't even have a scratch on her. Fuck this. I'm gonna call out her bullshit right to her face. Marquesa's putting on a PR event, some kind of tour for foreign journalists. If you can get us passes, I'll give her a one-on-one -on -one performance in front of the whole world. Force them to hear the truth. Let's fuck yeah. up Marquesa's shop. Clara, I need press passes. I'm coming up to Maria's TV station. Anything you can tell me? Press passes? I won't ask. Look, Danny, they're holding one of our guerrillas inside. So free them if you can. I'll do my best. Gracias, Clara. Shit, a camera. Engineer spotted.
riqueza. If it hasn't, it is your duty to turn it over. The press passes. Let's do this shit. Hola, reporter Benevides. Press passes? <sighs> this is my shot, Danny. Got a shit on song for that bitch, so don't fuck this up. Easy, Talia. Keep it together, okay? You keep it together, Danny. Don't lose those passes. Meet me and Bicho in the Botanical Gardens parking lot, and don't go in without us. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from... Urban Garden? Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait, aren't you... Silvia Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Uh, can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome, welcome, my beautiful foreign friend. Gracias for traveling so far to learn about Viviro. The Castillo administration's pride and joy. Let us begin. The architecture. Impressive. Nice. Lot of money not going to the rest of Yara. Today, I am honored and excited to share with you the miracle of Viviro. A revolutionary cancer treatment. Thirteen years ago, the brilliant biochemist, Dr. Edgar Reyes, discovered a compound unique to Yara that slows cancer cell growth. But it is Presidente Anton Castillo's full support that allows us to produce this all-natural drug. Come, witness a breakthrough of innovation, generosity, and true Yaren spirit. Follow me. Spasibo for the inside tour. You really make a reporter feel... special. Anything for you, Nikolai. <laughs> it all starts with Nicotiana Yarana, our native tobacco plant grown in our western farmlands. Our tobacco is world famous for its unique flavor. Wondering what made it so unique, Dr. Reyes studied the plant's properties. And I don't mean he smoked a lot of cigars. <laughs> he found a compound that actually slows cancer cell division, practically to a halt. This way, my lovely people. <clears throat> Ready for the next part of our Viviro adventure? Dr. Reyes found that natural tobacco crops produced a limited amount of the compound. So, President Anton commissioned Yara's best minds to work with Dr. Reyes to design an all-natural fertilizer, PG-240. Spread on, like a hairspray, it uses gene therapy and nutrients to boost production of the compound. If you look, this tobacco has large red leaves. This is from the fertilizer. Beautiful, no? Puro, organico, e exotico. No? Would anyone like to spray the plants? Come, press this button. It is so much fun. <laughs> 
Excelente, volontine. Dank wel, dat is This is the beginning of the beginning of war. Using McKay to sidestep embargoes was considered quite controversial. Those critics only want to profit from cancer, from death. They see us as a threat, so they try to ruin us. This way, por favor. Okay, closer, closer. Get intimate. <laughs> I want you to hear me. <sighs> this interactive display will be available after... Finest scientists extract, refine, and package the cancer-fighting tobacco compound called Yarantin. Found only in Yaren tobacco, Dr. Reyes thinks Yarantin is why our cigars are so smooth. <laughs> Delicious and beneficial, no? I smoke one cigar a week and it keeps me skinny and strong. It's true. <laughs> okay, that's the tour. Our interactive stations are now available for you to enjoy. When you are ready, join me by the gate in the outdoor lounge for a surprise guest. There are rumors that farmers exposed to PG-240 are actually developing cancer from it. Rumors spread by fools and believed by idiots. It's not true. Uh-huh. Right. By slaves. The tour is quite detailed, see? And this ends our tour. But before we go, a surprise. Meet Dr. Edgar Reyes, the pioneer behind Viviro. Dr. Reyes, thank you so much for making an appearance. Ah, muy bien. Okay, everyone, enjoy the showroom and some of our finest Yaren Rome. This is a preview of other Viviro products we are developing. Chewables, nasal sprays, vaginal suppositories. It is a, uh, I say, a sneak peek. <laughs> so peek, peek away. <laughs> if you have questions, please email my assistant, Julio. Come now, Dr. Reyes, we don't want to be late. Neither do we, let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. We got this. Stay on your toes.
برنت ال آوت این تیم فلور اکشن بیتی بیرون. Oh, don't, don't shoot. I'm just a scientist. Bitches, leave. Pavora. Get shooting. True Yarens, welcome. We have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that muddy macho you spread your perversions with. But where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello? So Maria's dead. Hola. Buena. Anyone want to help me here? No? She's going to do, and I think I'm having a heart attack. 
Bicho, you're not having a heart attack. How, how do you know? We need Paolo. Paolo knows how to fix this. Paolo's in Miami by now. No, 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 he's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay, just take a breath. I'm on my way. Danny, we've got to fix this. I thought Ravio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport and he was with that fucker Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that can put Talia back from the cliff, Carnala. I even tried to get Paolo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom, soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Hmm. You might want to do it on the download, Danny. <coughs> Shit. Special forces. Oh no. I'm good. Officer. <laughs> Rank won't protect you. Paolo, what did you get yourself into? Better watch. needs to go. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe, but we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out? I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. But I'm not heartless. I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Ross. Paolo's not in the safest of hands.
That's my dog. What did you find for me? Hey, Bicho! Look at Paolo! You are a real Yaren hero! Shut up for a second. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. Uh, a resort? W what does that mean? Is Paolo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho, I'll call you when I have him, okay? An abandoned mine. <laughs> Didn't really clean up after themselves. Paolo better be here, or Bembe's a dead man. Paolo! It's Danny! Paolo! Easy, Danny. I love these new phones. They're so thin. Oh, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Vivero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240. What you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers. Danny, come on, Karim, you're safe. You're with me now. He put something in me. Oh God, he put something in me. This is what he has. Fucking go! Oh, okay, okay. We meet there. <laughs> Matias, need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. It was El fucking Doctor. He poisoned me. Need to get it out. Okay, you need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? 
A car. Need a car. Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matthias. Danny, please take a moment and for science. Tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up! Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your... <sighs> fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Rita! No! This isn't real! Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. How was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? <sighs> supposed to die. It, it all happened so fast. How was he supposed to die? Is that all you have to say to me, Dan? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us, too. The bullet went into my brain. I could still see. I lived just long enough to watch you and Lita leave me behind. Alejo, please stop. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. I can feel, Danny. Welcome back, idiot. How's Talia? You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. Now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Just the guerrilla I need. Bitch has gone crazy! Screaming about Bembe. Blaming him for what happened to you, me, and Talia. Last night, he took off while we were sleeping. I think the idiot's gone after Bembe. Don't know how Bicho thinks he's going to track him down. Bicho always had our back. And we never... Just find the little shit, okay? We're going to war. I need to rally our people. Train them. That means no one gets left behind. Even Bicho. 
Good luck. At this stage, every guerrilla counts. Bicho! Bicho! You crazy come mierda! Where are you? He's not. Hmm. So Bembe is buying weapons from the military. Looks like the handoff was at the rodeo. Skimming some viviro off the top, eh, Bembe? I should check that warehouse. If I find Bembe, I find Bicho. Be alive, mi socio. Oye, Paolo. I think Bicho's done something stupid. What's he done this time? He's really going after Bembe. Stupid mierda. Don't worry. I'll find him before he digs himself too deep. Hurry, Danny. Bicho's no match for someone like Bembe. I love that dog. Bicho set the balls loose on everyone. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> Bembe got spooked and killed his buyer. Bicho must have followed him out. Paolo! Little maniac sabotaged one of Bembe's black market deals. He let the bulls loose at some kind of rodeo. Repinga, he's going to get himself killed. I won't let anything happen to him.
Special forces, of course. Hostage situation. Shit. There's gotta be a way. Hey, you. Give me a hand. Oh, thank you. Listen, it wasn't us. It was Enrique. He was the one stealing the video. I'm unarmed. Don't shoot. Easy. Just tell me. A crazy kid come through here? Talks a lot. Hair kind of like a pineapple. Yeah. Came in here whiffing a gun around. Told me I had to tell him where my buyer lives. Guy called Bembe. Did you tell him? See? And then the kid ran off. Can you tell me where Bembe lives? <sighs> Nobody knows exactly where his place is. But it's in Cruz del Salvador, near the border. That's all I know. I swear. Please, just let me go. Paolo. I know where to find Bembe. Then that's where Bicho will be. Exactly. Sit tight, Paolo. Heard about this. Looks like Bembe hides out in an old slave shack on the plantation. Bicho, what the fuck? Get out of here, Daddy! I'm gonna blow this cabron's head off! No, you're not. Oh, I'm not? You don't think I will? Eh? Bicho, listen to me. You thought coming here was gonna fix it all. But it's not going according to plan, is it? What the fuck do you know, eh? I know you're no killer. Look at you shaking. You're a frightened little rat. A pest, a parasite. Yes, you take and give nothing back. Bicho, don't listen to him. That's right, Bicho. Just a blood-sucking bug. Whoa! Hang on! You're not Bicho. You're not a bug. What's your real fucking name? You wanna fix something? Pull that trigger. You need to shut the fuck up right now. My name's Paz. Yeah. Okay. Your name is Paz. You're Paz. You're not Bicho. You're not a bug. You're Paz. And I need you here with us, man. Hmm? You're a piece of shit. At least I don't lie to my friends. Not that it matters. But I tried to get Palo up. I really did.
Hey, Paolo. Danny, tell me Beach was okay. Si, talked him out of doing something really stupid. He's a bit shook, but he's okay. Oh, fuck. Thank God. And Bembe? Still alive, still a snake. Shit. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. There's always going to be a Bembe, Paolo. But there aren't many Bichos out there. When Bicho gets back, maybe tell him how you feel, yeah? He could use it right now. I will. I promise. Thank you, Danny. Danny, how is my patient? Alive, gracias. And I have another cool scar to show my friends. You joke, Danny. But it's the scars in your head that worry me most. Look, it's not a good situation here. Talia has an infection and we're low on medication. I'm sure Castillo has some to spare. You and I think alike. Hit these three checkpoints along the road west of my clinic. Hurry, Danny. Talia's life depends on it. That's my dog. Checkpoint. Better be careful. Adios. Love that dog. Smart dog. Oye, Matias! I got the meds. Muy bien, Danny. Bring them to me in Barrial. Hurry, for Talia's sake. See you soon. Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. See, si, big reunion. We need to hit El Doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. 
Maria's dead. Bebido is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine. And he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias has intel. Sergio Esteves, El Doctor's right-hand man, murdered hundreds with his medical trials. That's how we get El Doctor. <laughs> were you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. I knew you were military. Paolo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions? Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now the mama and papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. Boom, boom! Here! I love that dog. Better watch my step. Nice house. Being a true yarn pays off. Should check inside. Good dog. Now, oh, what do we have here? Hey, it's Paolo. Just thought you should know what kind of monster Sergio is. Come mierdas carried out thousands of fucked up experiments on outcasts. Even kids, Danny. It's fucking sick. And all of it just to make Bio Vida rich. Coño. I have to get this piece of shit. You will. Suerte. Smart dog. Good dog. And now they know I'm here. These guerrillas. Paolo, did you send backup? See, si. let them take care of the soldados. Just focus on finding Sergio. Gracias. Who oh, you been talking to, Sergio?
cago en su madre. He's on the run. Hijo de puta has been tipped off. Matias, someone warned the doctor that we were coming. Sergio's on the run. Pablo and I are on our way. Don't let that piece of shit escape. He's a fucking murderer. There's that true yard and piece of shit. I've got you. I've got you. Stop following me. Love you, motherfucker. Concussion, grade two or higher, laceration, dislocated shoulder. Matias. Let me guess. You're going to treat me to prove you're the better doctor. Where the fuck is El Doctor? The Viviero Processing Center, Building 13. What the fuck, Paolo? You think El Doctor could run the outcast camps without people like this piece of shit? None of this. None of this whole fucking mess would be happening without doctors like him. Fuck him. I'm all out of mercy. And significant trauma to the skull. Shit. Danny. Come meet me at the lookout near the BioVida lab. We're going to hit a doctor where he lives. About fucking time. You and I are going to kill him, Danny. And we'll also hit Castillo where it hurts most. His fucking wallet. Look at that, Paolo. You made me smile. <laughs> See you soon. They're monitoring the airspace. Better stay grounded here. Air vehicle B5606. Identify yourself immediately. A la pinga. Building 13. This is it. Viviro, the outcasts, everything started with a piece of shit hiding in there. Only way I see this going down right is if you and I split up. I'm calling in a few of our guerrillas. We're going to plant explosives and fuck up his Viviro operation. It's not going to be easy, but you need to get inside those buildings any way you can and kill that fucker. It's us or him today, because we're not gonna get another shot. You helped wake me up, Danny. 
I was running from Castillo, Maria, all of them. Now these fuckers run from me. This one's for Talia. We're going to put that sick motherfucker in the ground. <clears throat> Mierda, they're serious. Okay, watch yourself, Danny. What did you find for me? That's my dog. An alarm. Smart dog. Fine. Better take out that camera. Now back up to take on the mierdas. Hmm, camera. Buenas noches. Don't need no more soldiers here. Let's move, boom, boom. from above? It's worth a shot. What is this place? Call yourself a Yarin? No, these bodies! You don't deserve to live. Please, don't shoot. Oh, shit. El Doctor is a monster.
Give them hell, Paolo. You okay? Can you walk? Danny Rojas, I'm impressed. You are a true survivor. But tell me, how is it possible that Libertad does not realize destroying Biviro also destroys Yara? You sick motherfucker! I've seen what Biviro is really doing! And I'm going to enjoy this a little too much. Not one for the bait, are we? Did you know exposure to concentrated doses of PG-240 wreaks havoc on the body? Doctor is dead. Yes, Danny. You fucking did it. What are we going to do about the people? You just did the best thing you could do for them. Now, we have to get out. Relájense, mi gente. Juan is already on his way with a helicopter. Juan? How the fuck? You think I wouldn't find out what you kids were up to? Wipe that stupid look off your face and clear me a landing zone. Paolo, meet me at the helipad. And Juan. Thanks. Cojones. Paolo's not fucking around. That is a
el doctor? Dead. Real fucking tragedy. The goddess of victory picked us today. Enjoy it, guerrillas. Because tomorrow you'll be fucking somewhere else. You never listen to Pedro Torrero? This generation is lost. Does he ever stop talking? No. Talia! Mio! I thought I lost you. No, fuck no. El Doctor! Dead. And Castillo is next. You sound... different. First time you're hearing my voice, mija. That mean you'll march with me to Esperanza? I'll fight for you. I'll put a fucking bullet through Castillo's skull for you. But don't think I'm going to let you off the hook. It's easy to talk of family, equality, when you're not running a country. Mm -hmm. but when your revolution is over, mine won't have even started yet. So let's put it on the record. Bicho! Si, sí, Capitan! Queen Clara! I mean, Hefa! Call me Paz. Paz. I think Radio Libertad would like to hear from our newest Comandante. <laughs> You gonna tell the people Libertad was my idea? Shit, never gonna let that go. I hate this fucking music. It's not Pedro Torero. Exactly, Danny. La revolución vendrá. Mi pueblo no aguanta más. Ay, con la yara unida, mi hermanos. Y aquí venimos para luchar. True, Yaras. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego! See, si, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Si, señor presidente. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm, did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered allowed us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Miss Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Binga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I'm ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, chair stop. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. 